students let's start with the second lesson parallel lines and transversal in the previous year in 7th standard we learn about the parallel lines transversal and its property also i have drawn two lines here look at the blackboard line a and line b if i extend these lines here if we extend these lines then they intersect each other that is these are the intersecting lines if two lines are intersect each other in one point then these are intersecting lines these are look here i also drawn two lines line p and line q if we extend these two lines on both sides on right side also and on left side also these two lines does not intersect each other therefore these are the parallel lines the lines in the same plane which do not intersect each other are called parallel lines therefore line p and line q are parallel lines and we write here line p parallel line q line a and line b are intersecting lines because they they intersect each other therefore these are intersecting lines but line p and line q do not intersect each other therefore they are parallel lines and we write this as line p parallel line q then we learn about the transversal what is mean by transversal if i draw a line c which intersect line a and b in two different points m n the line c intersect line a and b in two different points line uh, point m and point n respectively then line c is the transversal of line a and b similarly here we draw line r in this figure line r intersect line p and q in two different points suppose that are a and b therefore line r is called transversal of line p and q okay then when line intersect the two other lines then eight angles are formed there at point a four angles are formed 1 2 3 4 or a b c d and here at point b another four angles are formed e f g and h similarly here also these are intersecting lines but the transversal intersect these two lines in two different points here also four angles are formed 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now we study about the 
pairs of angles. In seventh standard, we learn about the pairs of angles. Which are they? Linear pair of angles. Then vertically opposite angles. Here, A and B. Angle A and angle B. The sum of these two angles, 180 degree. Therefore, these two angles are linear pair of angles. We study about these angles in 7th standard. Also, angle A and angle C are vertically opposite angles. Angle B and angle D are vertically opposite angles. Look here. These two angles in the opposite side of arms of the angle are the of vertically opposite angles. Here, second pair of vertically opposite angles. And these vertically opposite angles are congruent. They are in equal measure. This type of angles we study in the 7th standard. Now we learn about the angles formed by a transversal. The first pair of angles corresponding angles. Angle A and angle E. I write first the pairs of corresponding angles. Angle A and angle E. Angle B and angle F. Angle C and angle G. And angle D and angle H. These are the four pairs of corresponding angles. Look here, observe in the figure A and B, A and E angle. A and E angle is the pair of corresponding angle. A and E. Here B and F is the pair of corresponding angles where we show these angles in the same direction of transversal. Here, this angle in the same direction of transversal. This angle E and this angle. These two angles are in the same direction of transversal and on the same side of the arms of the lines. Baga, lakshat gya. Corresponding angles konala mahaita. The transversal is just the same direction. It is just the same direction. It is the same direction. These two angles form the line. This is the same angle. This is the same angle. The transversal is just the same direction. It is the same direction. And the other side is the same direction. The transversal is just the same direction. It is the same direction. It is the same direction. It is the same direction. A and E. These two angles are the same direction. The transversal is just the same direction. And in the upward direction, it is very good. Next pair, what is the transversal? It is very good. The transversal is very good. And in the right side. So, what is the pair? B and E. F. So, what is the pair? B and E. F. So, what is the pair? B and E. F. So, the transversal is very good. 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 C and E. G. ट्रांसवर्सन चा एक आ खर्चा दिशे ने एक आर माहे दो मिंची अनि हे जे दोन साइड साहित्य का इसना रे एकात्स साइड ला है दोनी आर्म्स जाहित्य एकात्स साइड ला है राइट साइड ला है अतः एक आर्म जी आई थी खर्चा दिशे ने ऐसे अनि दूसरी आर्म जी आई थी का इसना रे लेफ्ट साइड ला इसना रे मंजे एंगल जैसी एक बाजू ट्रांसवर्सल एक दिशे आई दुसरी बाजू 
हे ह्या ज्या दोन लाईन्स आहेत त्या दोन लाईन्स एकाच साईडने असतील एकतर डाव्या साईडने असतील किंवा उजव्या साईडने असतील अशा पद्धतीने तुम्हाला ट्रान्सफर करस्पॉन्डिंग अँगल्सच्या किती पेअर्स मिळतात फोर पेअर्स मिळतात आलं लक्षात नेक्स्ट बी इंटेरियर अँगल्स इंटेरियर देर आर टू पेअर्स ऑफ इंटेरियर अँगल्स द अँगल्स इन द द अँगल्स इन साइड द टू पॅरल लाईन्स ऑर टू लाईन्स अँड ऑन द सेम डायरेक्शन ऑफ ट्रान्सफर्सल ते एकाच दिशेने त्या ठिकाणी ट्रान्सफर्स असतील तर हे आर ट्रान्सफर्सल आहे त्याच्या एकाच दिशेने म्हणजे राईट राईट साईडला तुम्ही जर घेतलं तर राईट साईडला फॉर्म होणारे दोन अँगल्स कुठले अँगल सी आणि अँगल ए इंटेरियर अँगल्स जे आहेत ते इन साइड दे टू पॅरल लाईन्स असणार आहेत इन साइड दे टू पॅरल लाईन्स म्हणजे जे सी फॉर्म करतात या ठिकाणी हा सी फॉर्म झालाय बघा सी फॉर्म करतात इंटेरियर अँगल्स द अँगल्स इन साइड द टू लाइन्स एंड इन द सेम डायरेक्शन ऑफ ट्रांसफर्सल आर इंटेरियर एंगल्स दोनों लाइन्स मधे ट्रांसफर्सल बाजूला एंगल्स इंटेरियर एंगल्स दैट इज एंगल सी एंड एंगल एफ से अपन राइट साइड से घ आता लेफ्ट साइड से इन साइड दी टू लाइन्स एंड लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ दी ट्रांसफर्सल दैट इज एंगल डी एंड एंगल ई इंटेरियर एंगल्स दोनों बाजू मधे ट्रांसफर्सल छेदिके एक बाजू के एंगल्स अपने इंटेरियर एंगल्स दोन पेयर्स मिलता है थर्ड जो का टाइप है तो आहे अल्टरनेट एंगल्स अल्टरनेट एंगल्स के दोन टाइप्स है इंटेरियर अल्टरनेट एंगल्स एक्सटेरियर अल्टरनेट एंगल्स इंटेरियर एक्स अल्टरनेट एंगल्स जे आहेत ते इन साइड द टू लाइन्स बट अपोजिट साइड ऑफ द ट्रान्सफर्स द एंगल्स आर इन साइड द टू टू लाइन्स एंड इन द अपोजिट साइड ऑफ द ट्रान्सफर्स दे फॉर्म झेड अल्फाबेट दॅट इज दिस टाईप झेड दे फॉर्म झेड अल्फाबेट That is angle D and angle F are interior alternate angles. This is the first pair of interior alternate angle, and the second pair is angle C and angle E. There, these are also two pairs. angle C and angle E and angle D and angle A and the next type is exterior alternate angles the exterior alternate angles are on the opposite side of the transversal angle A and angle G and next is angle b and angle h interior are they inside the two lines and these two pairs are outside the two lines bahar che pan opposite side che transversal cha opposite side che ya interior ani alternate madhe lakshat thevaycha interior manje atlya baju che ani ekat side che transversal cha same side che आणि अल्टरनेट अँगल्स मध्ये काय लक्षात ठेवणार ट्रान्सफर्सलच्या अपोजिट साइडचे इंटेरियर आतले पेअर्स असतील तर इंटेरियर अल्टरनेट अँगल्स 
आणि बाहेरच्या पेअर्स असतील अपोजिट साईडच्या तर त्यांना म्हणायचंय एक्सटेरियर अल्टरनेट अँगल्स वी स्टडी अबाउट थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ एंगल्स करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स इंटेरियर एंगल्स एंड अल्टरनेट एंगल्स इन अल्टरनेट एंगल्स देर आर ऑल्सो टू सब टाइप्स इंटेरियर अल्टरनेट एंगल्स इन साइड द टू लाइन्स एंड नेक्स्ट वे एक्सटेरियर अल्टरनेट एंगल्स